So the soap you're about to see is a big mistake. The whole thing was not what was supposed to happen. First of all, this was originally supposed to be a sunflower soap. I was going to do hot process because the fragrance is supposed to both rice and accelerate. So I thought, well, I have done hot process for a while, so let's do hot process. I was preparing my hard oils and putting them all in the crock pot because I like to let them melt in the crock pot. And I wasn't thinking and I prepared four pounds of oils. My crock pot can't hold more than a three pound batch. I've successfully hot processed a three pound batch of soap. I've never done four pounds in there. And today is a perfect example of why I will never ever try to do that again. So what's gonna be in this soap is there's gonna be kale and clay in it. There's going to be honey, which is part of my mistake too. There's going to be no fragrance because it was, because you'll see. There's going to be goat milk. There's going to be coconut milk. There's going to be oatmeal. There's going to be some turmeric and there's gonna be just stuff. And it, you just, just see, let's just see what happened. Okay, let's see how full this gets. These are our melted hard oils already in there. Here's our soft oils, as well as some kale and clay. That's why it's foggy. Now that's looking kind of full, isn't it? I still gotta add my lye water. Here's our lye water. We got about two inches, it looks like, of extra space here. And I feel like that is too little. I wasn't thinking. I have made three pounds in this crock pot and I was like, I want to make four pound batch. And then I was putting all my hard oils in here and then I realized I've never made four pounds in this crock pot before. I'll let you see. That's how much space I have, just so you see. We're going to see what happens. I wanted to add my honey now. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I wanted to. Alright, I think I'll stop stick blending. And we will keep a continued eye on our soap. Well, my soap just made a poof noise over here. I'll show you up here. It's like wanting to come out up here. So I'm trying to let it. Is my honey gonna turn my soap brown? Oh, looks like it. Oh man, getting too hot. So I left you to go to the sink really fast. And I did not intend to make a brown soap. How many brown soaps am I going to make? Well, we got it cooled off a little bit here. Let's think. Glad I saved it from uh, volcanoing at least. It did not come all the way out. It would have, but I didn't take it off the heat. This is brown. This is a brown soap. Maybe I should just make unscented brown honey soap. Why did I do this to myself? It smells really good though. Well... I'm just gonna put this in this mold and then let it cure unfragranced. Ooh, hot. Okay. And we're gonna put this in this mold. This is a two pound mold, so obviously I will not be able to fit all of it because this is not what I wanted to happen at all. So I'm just gonna let this delicious honey soap. Maybe I'll use my turmeric so that there's some turmeric in here. Maybe we'll add in some coconut milk. One teaspoon of coconut milk here. Let's do two teaspoons of coconut milk. Add some water, just enough to get that to mix in. Maybe we'll add a little bit of, <laughs> maybe we'll add a little bit of oatmeal. A teaspoon of oatmeal. And let's throw this in here with this. What a situation we ended up with. All right, this is our turmeric bit. And you can see how dark it's already gotten. It doesn't matter because my whole soap turned brown. I'm getting tired of brown soaps, but I keep getting them. 
I keep making them. I don't want to make any more brown soaps. Let's see if we can just get the a little bit stirred in here. <sighs> what a situation. It's all because I was too stubborn to take my hot my hard oils out of the crock pot after I measured them all. That's when the trouble began. Let's some more of this. Well, that's that one. Okay. Here we go again. This one, instead of coconut milk, goat milk. So we'll do our one, two teaspoons. We will also add a teaspoon of oatmeal to this. I can't believe the situation I just got myself into. Let's add a little bit of red sea salt. And we're gonna put this in the whole rest of the batch. Let's add this in here. See if we can mix this in. It's still, still decently hot. It smells fantastic. Kind of smells like fall a little bit. Always make sure you leave plenty of room in your crock pot for volcanoing. Here is your lovely learning experience of why. I don't like using this mold for hot process because it is silicone, so it's not sturdy enough for hot process. I'm going to add a bit of water to it to try to get this top to smooth out because it's too, it's too dry and it's crumbling. Man, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed at what I just did. Okay, <laughs> well there's that. Now I gotta figure out what to do. Well, this is the same day and these have to be cut because they're getting extremely hard. And I don't want to break my soap cutter wire. This is one rugged looking thing. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's cut a sample piece. Why not? Ooh, the inside's pretty cool, I guess. Hmm, that's not bad looking. They smell like, almost like pumpkin, actually, but like actual pumpkin gets. I don't know how that happened. But it did. Well, I'm not terribly unhappy with the inside. Well, for having almost a catastrophe to happen, I'm glad that it didn't happen and that we still have some lovely bars of soap. I am thankful for that. And nothing was actually wasted, except for my design that was wasted. I have these being cut at an inch and a half since this is a shorter loaf. A nice chunk, chunk of soap. Well, they look interesting on the inside. I like that, but boy, are they rough on the outside. Well, even though we had our, our struggles, and even though we ended up with two batches of brown soap, they're still nice. They're still nice bars of soap. They smell extremely natural. They have a, a little bit different smell, I'm guessing, because of cooking the honey, which is a mistake and something that I will always remember to not add the honey before cooking the soap. But I would say that if you have problems with fragrances or you just want a very gentle smelling soap, these would be perfect. We uh, stamped the front because stamping the side was not an option. I'm happy with them though. I don't, I don't want any more brown soaps. This is all the brown soaps I want for a long time. I think these will be lovely. I'll do a suds test eventually. I am going to eventually put them up for sale if anyone wants to try them out. Anyway, never overfill your crock pot. Also, if you don't want a brown soap, never add the honey at the beginning of the cook.